On the 23rd of August, villagers in Kujiganga region of Chumanimani woke up to an unusual odor choking the air. Their source of water, Murare River, had turned oily and black in color as a result of a haulage truck accident that has spilled over 30,000 liters of terminate poison. This was the beginning of an environmental disaster. Nyagua, um, I'm an officer in the hazardous substances and hazardous waste unit of the Environmental Management Agency. Uh, where we are here, uh, we are at uh, Murare River, where we um, witnessed an accident, a road traffic accident, uh, on the 22nd of uh, August that resulted in the spillage of uh, approximately 40,000 liters of uh, creosote into Murare River. Um, Murare River is a river that is just after um, Chakowa, um, towards Nyanyadzi in Manikaland. That is about 80 kilometers from, Man from, Chin from Mutare city. Uh, so the river feeds into Odzi River and in turn Odzi River feeds into Save River. So what happened here is that uh, after the accident occurred, um, the CPU and other government agencies then mobilized uh, equipment and uh, Emma was at the center of the operation. So basically what we did for the emergency response was to try and uh, first mitigate the impacts of the spillage and that uh, uh, involved uh, damming, temporarily damming the water so that uh, we would probably stop the extent of the spillage uh, spreading uh, way outside uh, our control. Although no human fatalities were recorded, the contaminated water resulted in the death of domestic animals as well as the loss of aquatic life in the Murare River. Bozi, so far to date, that 148. But 148, no particular five feet, a Takaya Tistaka Tenama post mortem. Then, but 148, about 29 is the Chiri Sik, the Chiri Wa, the Pensane Mone and Bozi, then Mombe, six calves, those are Shahid the calf. Then we go to dogs, 10 dogs died. The one take, the little was here. So she think that if you have a patata and give Sangani, the music for the Utonga will be on Paracuyo. Yes, that is in a canache. Takasangana <laughs> So good to know Mutinora Rama Nimbuts. No person guy in fifty can afford. So to Paris, you need that the oil is more to Sarah and eight twenty. So it can at twenty zeds that to Sarah Zirutu Warashi. Sakatiruto shoe pick and good. Muno Mumaka Oma, Munachi no it, Muno to put it to any marry. Arume do a shandy. Sakataka to Tarisere Pambuzi, so to get any semuzi. Toto one or two put it to engage Kafugana who in the Sanaguchi call. Saka Paris Vinezi, Takato Gumir, Wafumba, Takato Guma, so it is the Shoma Zeza to Sarah Zirutu Wara. Saka Tirutu Shayo to Tombo Tangira Papi, that will remain there to Tibazia. The Environmental Management Agency, Emma, was quick to the rescue in abating what would have been a serious threat to human life. Especially to us, we were, as the villagers, we were too ignorant about the hazard of the chemical. The EMA department, after having a report, they got a responder from day 24, from 2400, they responded so positively. And they packed a hive of activity. You know, soon you know, you know, after my election, I'm not much in my feelings, and it didn't tend to put my villagers. All parts were here working for the development of my mitigations in my house at the Sangari, I took up an this guy in Dimberi Shakanyanya, Sandruguti, from the least management Emma to the highest, you are excellent. Thank you. However, 
The Environmental Management Agency has embarked on the third and final stage of disaster risk management process with regards to this hazard. So, after that first phase of mitigation, we then went into a cleanup or decontamination. Uh, in this phase, what we're essentially doing was to remove environmental media that was contaminated with the, with the creosote. Um, the main uh, media that was contaminated was the water itself, which we then um, collected in a temporary sump uh, for uh, pumping out into temporary pits that we lined with high density polyethylene. So after after the um, pumping of the water, we then managed to scrape off um, the river bed uh, for about uh, two meters, uh, trying to remove the the contaminated soils and uh, and rocks. So all the all the contaminated material on the riverbed was then also removed and moved into another uh, temporary pit, which we also lined with uh, high density polyethylene. So those are the first two stages of um, the spillage that is now the spillage response, which is now done. And uh, what is left now essentially is the long term uh, post cleanup phase, which we anticipate that uh, is going to restore the environment back to its original state.